Good morning everybody, it is Chris from Team Aquascape. Today we're going to be turning this old broken concrete fountain into a beautiful fountainscape using a stack slate sphere and a stack slate urn. It's going to be an awesome transformation. Stick with us, we're going to have some fun today. Like I said, we are going to be transforming what is this old, decrepit concrete fountain. We're gonna be completely removing it, putting in a 12 small aqua block reservoir with using a 15 by 15 liner, a 30 by 15 piece of underlayment, a pump vault, and a four to seven pump. And we're going to be plumbing a small sphere and a medium stack slate urn to occupy this spot. We've got a couple tons of boulders. We've got about a ton of gravel. And by the end of the day, this thing's gonna be going from old, decrepit, and non-functioning into an incredible fountainscape brought to you by yours truly and the rest of the gang here at Team Aquascape. Let's go. Okay, so first order of business is going to be to completely demolish this old concrete fountain. The idea was there, it's just the execution clearly has some issues. So not a reservoir underneath there, it was a self-sustained fountain. Here in the Midwest, you could see what freezing water does to concrete over time. So this thing is broken apart, beaten up. We're gonna completely remove everything. We've got some steel edging in there, but this is where the reservoir itself is going to go. So we'll get everything demoed, then we're gonna go ahead and lay out our aqua block panels, get those 12 aqua blocks set out, trace out where the footprint of our reservoir is going to be, get the location of the pump vault, go ahead and start digging. We have a 15 by 15 liner that we will be installing over top of a piece of fabric. Then we'll put the fabric in, put together the aqua blocks, get them in there, backfill everything, and then we'll get to the fun artistic stuff. And we've got some really, really cool stuff to show you on this video. So here's our access. We've got a wide enough gate to fit our ball cart in. We did bring about a ton and a half of boulders and another ton or so gravel. We also brought some sand, not knowing what we would get into with the digging conditions, but we have the very talented Josh Duffy as well as Grant and Jonathan, who you just saw. We've got our product over there. We've got our gravel, we got our sand, and then we have a handful of boulders here. Josh is gonna go ahead and drop the bed on the switch and go body on our Isuzu. Get that down. Oh, who do we have here? Hey. Hey, what's up, what's up Josh Duffy? For those of you guys who don't know Josh Duffy already, he is our longest serving teammate, the Team Aquascape team, and also known as the Leak Whisperer, but I also like to call him Big Sexy. See, look at that bod, people. Look at that bod, people. Nice shorts today. Woo! <laughs> All right. So we're gonna have some serious fun today. It's the four of us. We should have no problem, provided there are no underground or hidden treasures, shall we say, where that old fountain used to be. So we're gonna go ahead and get that thing demoed and thrown in the back of the truck once we get it unloaded, and then we're gonna get going digging. All right, so we've got the concrete fountain out. We have the steel edging that was in there. Now the next step is going to be laying out our 12 small aqua blocks, getting that footprint traced out with some spray paint, and then we'll go ahead and start digging that 12 inch deep hole that will be in the shape of a rectangle. So we're gonna figure out if that electric over there is live or not and plan accordingly. So bear with us, we're gonna go ahead and plan this out and then start digging. see we got Grant and Jonathan lifting up the aqua block so this is going to be the perimeter or the reservoir we've got 12 small aqua blocks which gives us what's 12 times 17 120 plus another 84 so we have about a 200 gallon system here and which should be more than enough to supplement this medium urn and the small sphere now the next step is you guessed it digging. We're gonna end up putting a lot of this dirt back over on the back side. We're running into some kind of crummy digging conditions. One thing that we want to do is go off the elevation of the existing patio. So what we'll do is the top of our aqua blocks will probably be about where grade is at now. Those aqua blocks are nine and a half inches tall so we're only gonna go down about a shovel depth, maybe a little bit deeper in this whole area in through here. Like I said, we'll throw this dirt back over here to help retain this back side because everything slopes back towards Josh's feet over there. So we'll end up retaining some of that stuff We'll put those steppers back in to go around once we do that, but we're gonna go ahead and start digging We'll leave a couple wheelbarrows of soil off to the side to help backfill along the edge to bring soil up about an inch below The top of the patio over here. So that's where we're at. We're gonna go ahead and start digging All right, 
So good progress. Just before lunch, we got all of the crappy soil out off to the side. We had to build up that back, so we ended up flipping it back over that way. You can see now we have sand in the bottom of the reservoir as well as where the pump vault is located. Next step is going to be getting fabric in, then our liner, and then more fabric on top, and then we'll start putting the pump vault and all the aqua blocks in there. And then we're gonna use what sand is left over to backfill around the edge. So here's that geotextile underlayment. This is a 15 by 15 foot piece. They're gonna go ahead and put it into the reservoir. Then like I said, we're gonna unfold this, do the same thing with the liner, and then we'll put another piece of fabric over the top. To prevent any of those sharp edges from the aqua block, you know, even having a chance, a slight chance of puncturing the liner. So it's just cheap insurance is this geotextile underlay. folks the man the myth the legend big sexy you can see I've got one rock on top of the reservoir right now. We still have a stack slate sphere, which is sitting right here. And then we are going to have a medium stack slate urn as well. So the big rock and then those two stack slate features are going to kind of round each other out and be a trio of sorts. I have a bunch of accent boulders along the back as well to help us change the shape. Got some cobbles. I have a mix of stone. So I've got a couple 18 to 24 inch boulders. You can see another one over there, one there. And then I have some 12 to 18s and then I have some four to eights. We always preach this in the video, um, but we want to have that different size of stone to really add to the overall strength of the design. So I'm gonna set the two units in there and then this rock and then that will kind of set the course for the rest of the project. So we're gonna go ahead and get the pump in. I've got a four to seven SLD 4,000 to 7,000 pump. You can see right there, that's an adjustable flow that is also pairable with the Smart App. So if you're not using that already, please head over to the App Store, whether it's your Android device or your iPhone and download the Aquascape app so that you can control all of our devices, including the color changing lights, which we also have in here. So a lot of bells and whistles on this. We also have an autofill and an ion gen that are going to be installed on this fountainscape. So lots of stuff going on in a very small space, but a very high profit project. So we're gonna go ahead and get going. Yeah. All right, so we're at a pretty good point. The guys have started to run the autofill line, but what we're gonna do now is we are going to start plumbing up the urn and the sphere. So what I did was, is I took a two inch hole saw bit and went ahead and drilled out that center core area where this fitting historically goes in. I think it's about an inch and a quarter OD, so I wanted to bore that out to two inches so that I can use a stick of rigid inch and a half pipe. And this will stick down, as you guys have seen in our videos, down in here into the center, we'll cut it, about an inch and a half, two inches above the inside portion of the urn. We're also gonna cut in a two watt color changing light in this one as well as in the sphere over there. And that will attach to an elbow down at the base of the urn above the aqua blocks. And that will tie into a two inch line, which Josh is working on currently right now. How you doing down there? Oh, great. You look so nice today. Did anybody tell you that today? Thank you. That's good. <laughs> Okay, Josh is gonna work on the plumbing. We have a three inch manifold over here with three to two reducer bushings on all sides. The reason I like using that, actually Josh, why do you like using that? I don't know. Okay, good. So the, re the reason we're using the three inch T with three to two reducer bushings all the way around is when that water comes out of the pump, I want to use that T almost as a source for that water to well up inside, create a little bit of back pressure. Even though we're gonna run two inch ball valves on everything, there will be two inch lines coming this way out of the T and that way out of the T to two inch ball valves and then we'll run it to two inch elbows and on the inside of the urns we're going to put a two inch to inch and a half bushing in that elbow and attach that piece of inch and a half rigid. I know this is all kind of rapid fire and maybe it didn't make sense so that's why we're going to show you through this beautiful video montage.
we're getting a handful of raindrops here. But, 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 there you have it. They're not incredible. We got Dave and Matt out here from product development. So they've been a huge help. We're working on some very secret things for you that we can't share with you, but we will. So we've got the homeowner and his son out just kind of helping us navigate through setting up the app with his phone, which is what Dave is doing. But feast your eyes on the new Fountainscape. What a transformation from this morning, starting about nine o'clock to where we're at now. And it's what, what time is it, Josh? 4.30. 4.30, so pretty incredible. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lights, all two watt color changing lights. That's what they're working on right now. We have one in the top of each of the sphere and the urn, and then we have five surrounding that will help light this thing up at night. So we're gonna go ahead and start kind of night setting since we have the dusk, but it just turned out incredible. We repurposed a couple of uh, plants from the landscape, which was a big help. Mulch the area, got some retaining wall work done, but it just turned out awesome. What do you think, Josh? Good, it passes the big sexy. <laughs> Awesome. It turned out good. So, nice job. Nice job, bud. Nice job, Grant. Thank Matt, thanks, bud. Appreciate you. Dave, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Awesome, dude. Thanks. Looking great, man. Nice Jonathan, job. nice job. So listen, this was a very quick transformation, but it pays to know what you're doing, A, but B, have all the products and everything on site. What a fun project to work on. We took that old, decrepit, non-functioning concrete fountain, broke it apart, and completely transformed the space using our lightweight GFRC products, the Stax Later and the Stax Late Sphere, as well as about two and a half tons of boulders and gravel. Remember, 12 small aqua blocks, 15 by 15 liner, a 30 by 15 underlayment. There's a four to seven pump on there, autofill, ion gen, as well as quantity of seven two watt color changing lights, and then the smart hub that they can control with their phone along with the pump. So really, really happy with how it turned out. Just turned out spectacular. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let us know. Let us know if there's anything that you wanna see in the future. Put a good word in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, don't forget to tune in every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, for all of the fresh Team Aquascape content that we're coming out with all the stinking time. You guys all have a great day. We're gonna get out of here because the rain is coming. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate y'all.